Appalachian Wireless offers forward pay. No contract, no credit check, no problem. Plans start at $19.99 a month and include unlimited talk and text or take it to the max with unlimited data plus for only $89.99 with 50 gigs of high-speed data because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. After three drug-related arrests on Thursday, Letcher County sheriffs were able to remove over 15 grams of meth from the streets. Friday, Mountain Top spoke with Sheriff Mickey Steins about their efforts. Uh, so uh, basically, we received a call from Whitesburg ARH that they had found what they believed to be uh, meth. And uh, I sent up a couple of deputies and uh, a deputy that comes on duty at four also followed up. Uh, they went up and done an investigation and found that it was meth. And through their investigation, we have charged a Lola Craft. While uh, deputies were on the scene investigating the complaint, a Keystone Craft was arrested and charged with disorderly conduct second degree, menacing, assault third on a police officer, and resisting arrest. During the investigation, deputies Stambo, Norris, and Whitaker were able to arrest and charge 63-year-old Lola Craft of Neon with possession of a controlled substance and terroristic threatening. Also arrested was 18-year-old Houston Kraft, who was charged with resisting arrest, assault on a police officer, and disorderly conduct. Included in the arrest from Thursday, during a traffic stop, Deputy Norse arrested 48-year-old Tom Blair on drug charges as well. Blair was stopped by Deputy James Norris yesterday uh, evening. Once uh, he done his investigation, he found Mr. Tom Blair in possession of... Uh, 14 grams of meth where he's charged him in trafficking and controlled substance first degree a set of scales empty baggies that was not used to process meth later and transfer and sell he had had uh, two different baggies but it was a total of about 14 grams of meth he had drug paraphernalia he didn't have his license in possession and he had no registration plates with three more arrests under the department's belt, Stein says he's proud of his deputy's efforts. Oh, it's fantastic, man. It's a, it's a pat on the back to my deputies, not me. It, it, it's them. They're out there every day in the front lines fighting this battle. It, it's just amazing that, you know, if you're not in it in, every day, you don't really see the issues that we have here local and through the whole state and whole nation. But, you know, when you're hands on with it every day, it's just it makes me proud. It makes me proud of them. You know, the job they're doing and just, you know, they're saving lives. You know, these three individuals are probably upset and mad at us. And, and, and I can't blame them. You know, we're all humans and I wouldn't want to be in jail either. But don't violate the law. You know, we have saved lives and the deputies have saved lives by making that arrest. I mean, 14 grams of meth. What if one of those grams would have potentially caused somebody to overdose and die? For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordell.